Are you going to pack my suitcase? No. What? Let's go to the airport. and welcome back to our channel. So this is a very exciting video. This is going to be the pack and travel with us to our honeymoon, or for our honeymoon, mm -hmm. I should say. We have spent all morning, I don't know if you can see that, getting everything ready and on the bed. The boys are now napping, so we can actually start filming um, slash showing you what we're taking um, and do a little pack with me. Yeah. And then, on Wednesday, we'll be travelling to the airport, which we'll also be filming yeah. too, and that will be in this video. But today is currently Saturday, um, and yeah, we actually need to pack because... You know. I mean, it's a better packing experience because number one, we've got new suitcases, which we'll show you, that were very kindly sent to us. Number two, we've basically got a whole new wardrobe. Me and Ellen sold, like, all of our clothes yeah. and used that money to buy brand new holiday clothes so we're like living our best life here. yeah and i feel like fab is kind of like just jumping in on this video aren't you because you don't really have a clue well listen my kind of packing is just lob it in the suitcase hope for the best Ella, forget my pants yeah pants you can buy anywhere <laughs> commando no problem i did that when we were trying for a baby for like two years so, oh my gosh, you need to sort your eyebrows out yeah i know i've been on, asking showed them closely well, look at this guys this is male grooming for you. Your <laughs> mono brow. Oh my god, a mono. It's a good thing it's I'm so married. So bad. Isn't it? Right, let me show you what we have done so far, or what I have done so far. So this is all of my stuff on this side of the bed. My toiletries and stuff are over there. I have actually made a huge list on my phone, which I will go through in a minute of all of the stuff that I need to take. That pile that pile that pile and that pile is what fab is taking plus his toiletries which are over there sorry i'm just filming for our um instagram subscribers if you want to see more then anyway this is why things like this take ages because fab thinks like the main thing to do is to start filming for instagram stories like we've got about four hundred thousand things to do today and he's just messing around so yeah fab is basically going to be spending the whole of the holiday Stressing about the fact that he, yeah. You haven't even got any pants out. Do you need them? It's quite hot over there. Get the breeze going. I've got anyway, one pair right, I'm going to show you what um, what we're taking. I'm going to show you some outfits of what I'm taking because I don't want to show them all. So here's what I've done so far. Each pile is sorted into day clothes, evening clothes, bikinis, etc. Um, I'm not actually going to show any of my outfits because you'll have to go and check out Instagram for that. Um, influencer. <laughs> my Instagram is Bedard, if you're wondering. Um, but I've got day outfits here. I've got my beach cover-ups. got my evening outfits and some more like beach cover-ups slash safari outfits here. I've got all of my bikinis here. Fun fact, I have not actually felt comfortable wearing a bikini since having the boys. I think that's a very normal thing to happen to a woman after having kids. Um, but as you guys know, we've been working really hard recently to um, like get ourselves in shape and stuff. So I've actually bought a whole lot of new bikinis because when I'd had the boys, I just completely got rid of all my bikinis because I never thought that I would ever wear one ever again. Um, and I just got swimming costumes. So um, yeah, I've got whole load of new bikinis which is exciting and then i've got like all of my shoes now i do not know if i've packed way too many shoes we've got two 21 kilogram bags suitcases one carry-on bag and then a backpack too so we've actually got loads of room to take stuff i don't think we're going to be taking all of that um, and filling it all however there is a massive mall over there so we'll probably do a little bit of shopping over there and have room to bring it back so these are the shoes that I've got. I've taken way too many, well, I'm taking a lot more high heels than I normally would because obviously Dubai is quite dressy. Um, so these are all my heels. Then over here, I've got my bags um, here. Spot the color, by the way, pops of color. I don't know who I am, but trying to go with it. And then over here, I've got all of my toiletries. I'm not gonna go through everything with you, but just to point out some of my faves. I've recently got this toner. 
um, I can never say the word, cord cordially, cordially. Um, and I actually used this before I put my makeup on and I've noticed that my makeup got, goes on so much better. Then I have got this, which is a newbie as well. This is like an instant tan. So if you have like uneven tan on your chest, for example, you spray this on and then it like goes even. And then it also gives like an airbrushed effect. I've seen it all over TikTok. Then I've got some eyelashes. I don't normally wear eyelashes, but I do um, feel like I could do with a little bit more on the outer sides of my eyelashes. Um, then pl blister plasters, because we all know blisters are not fun, especially in the heat. Nipple covers, because some of my outfits are a little bit sheer and I do not want to be exposed like that. I've got my cleansing balm. This is insane, by the way. I'm normally an Elemis girl through and through but this from the beauty crop is amazing and it's I think it was like eight pound and it's also refillable you push this out and then you put a new one in and then yeah so big advocate for this I love 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 this and then my best friend got me this clip from Thailand so it's coming with me um for one of my outfits then I've got my little um, ring light thing that attaches to my phone. I've got my books. I'm actually going to read The Housemaid. I've seen this everywhere. I've got the books one and two. Headbands, darker foundation, deodorant, boring, sun cream, my glow hub. If you don't know about this, go and check out my TikTok because when I tell you this is probably one of the best beauty products on the market right now, I'm not lying. So I'm now going to start putting stuff into the suitcase. Fab is probably going to just do the same. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I feel like this is a bit of a girly video. For it you, is, isn't I'm it? just like a spare part. Really. You, I did even say let me that. tell them, right? Let me tell them. I said, I said, Elle, do you want me to just pack mine? And she went, no. Why is that? You don't trust me? No. Fair. You'll forget something. Well, then, what do you want me to do? I need to clean my shoes. Should I go and do that? If you want to. Right, I'm going to start putting. Me? Oh, do you need me or not? No, I don't need you. Right. Are you going to pack my suitcase? No. What? Fab has gone to clean his shoes. <laughs> we were getting on top of each other just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna start now putting all of my clothes and stuff into my packing cubes and then labeling it up with our label machine. If you haven't got one of these, these are brilliant. Um, I just got mine from Amazon, but you just link it up to your phone, which where's my phone? Um, and then it just prints out a label for you and then you just stick it on the back like this. But I obviously need to do new ones for this holiday because a lot of these labels are for the boys. I'm just going to quickly go through and print some labels off and put them on my things. Then I'm going to put my clothes in my packing cubes and then my packing cubes into my suitcase. Hokey cokey. So I've got the app up on my phone. I'll just type in here what I want the label to say. Let's do underwear and pyjamas print and then it just literally prints out here Ta -da! and then you just peel off the back and stick it onto your cube just like that Ta -da! and then put your stuff in the cube I'm gonna go through and do that with all of them now I'm not gonna film it all because that is so boring but then I'm gonna put it into the suitcase. I can't lie guys, I have, I got about halfway through and then gave up and had to go and fuel myself with some food. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm entering the video now by the yeah. way. Yeah, Fab's a backup because we're gonna do his stuff. I've actually put all of my stuff into my um, suitcase um, and started doing like my toiletries and stuff. So that's all in there. These suitcases by the way are huge. They're bigger than our They're old ones. They're massive. Like take... I've got all my stuff in there and we've got room we have another case as well. How many because I've got five pairs of shoes and sliders. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go oh, we've got loads of room. Um we're popping into town in a minute to get the boys some new clothes from next and I might get some sliders there. So it's now it's a few days later. It is actually the day before we fly, so I'm just doing the last little bits of packing. Me and Fab have just been to B&M to get all of our plain snacks because I never find that there's enough to choose from at the airport. So we went to B&M and basically bought them out of snacks. I will quickly show you what we got. 
Fab's choices are a bit weird, but that's Fab all over. Fab loves trying new foods and stuff. So let me show you what we have picked up. So I'm pretty sure we've told you, but we, me and Fab have been dieting for about eight weeks now. And we haven't had things like this in eight weeks so we did go a bit crazy and then we thought that we're actually getting a night flight and we're planning to sleep on the flight so having all of this sugar and stuff before we go to sleep probably not the best idea so i don't know when we're going to eat this probably on the way to the airport first things first biscuits i have been thinking about these biscuits for the longest time these are the maryland cookies the best best cookies ever I did look for some bourbons, but they didn't have any there. Then my crisp choice is these. If you haven't tried these, you're missing out. They are amazing and they're always so cheap. And then I did pick up a big bag of minstrels as well, but I think Fab's got those in his pocket in his hoodie. And then I also picked up some pear drops. I absolutely love pear drops. They remind me of my childhood. And these are also really good to have in the car. Okay, on to Fabs. Are you ready for this? First thing he picked up was these lentil crisps, sour cream and onion. Then he's picked up, are they open? These Millions jelly beans, which actually look quite nice. Then he's picked up some Haribo twin snakes. And the reason that he picked up these is because he said it's going to remind him of Nora and Ari because they're twin. Then he's picked up Malteser desserts and this one is tiramisu flavour then he's already digged into these and he said that they're not great which are the orange javels he said that they're not they're not worth it they're not worth the calories he said and then he picked up these hobnob coconut macaroon biscuits he swears by these if he sees these he's always talking about how good they are i don't really like coconut but yeah so that is our airport snacks that we have bought i'm now just doing the last little bits of packing like putting all of the stuff into the suitcases that we haven't packed yet and packing our cabin bags too i've really struggled with what to pack in um the cabin bags we've never actually done a long haul flight before so it's a bit of an experience so i'll just put all of this into our cabin bags now i'm my airport outfit is due to arrive today so if that arrives when i'm filming i will show you very quickly because it's actually a new release that i've been waiting for to wear to the airport so fingers crossed it actually comes today <laughs> What is this? Your airport outfit? Yeah. That actually did come next day. Yeah, I know. Really did come next day. You were questioning it, weren't you? Yeah. Right, let me get it on. Right, we're going to do a transition. Ready? Three, two, one. So this is option one. Obviously, we're going from a cold country to a hot country. So I'm going to actually take a cardigan if I wear this. Although, I'm not really sure on this top. Because the girl who was the model for this clearly didn't have mummy milkers. She had <laughs> like, what? I paid for these kind of milkers, you know? What, are you calling yours mummy milkers? Mine are mummy What does that milkers. mean? I thought that means big. No, no. that means like they've Small. had milk in them and now... Oh. Uh, no, yeah. Right. Your kids have destroyed them basically. <laughs> um, no, it looks nice on you. The I material like looks I comfortable. I can't really... Tr Hmm? It's not really filling out. No, it looks good, Al. But you're you're gonna wear that to get off the plane. Well, no, I'm gonna wear a cardigan, cardigan over this. the top. So this is option one. Okay. okay you got multiple like... options. Yeah. Well. What? I kind of look a bit hench. Yeah, <laughs> she do. Let's see. Give us a give yeah, us no, a double but it's bicep. Just like because it's tight under here, it's just making my boobs look even more like. How did you just do that? What the? <laughs> <laughs> we also bought. Some air to, we also bought some air tags because I am extremely paranoid of our luggage getting lost. So at Let's least we this. can at least we can say where it is. And this is option two. 
But yeah, that's nice. I think I prefer that. It's just going to be hot. Yeah. Tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to take the boys to a farm that is near us that has got, it's like a small breeds farm. They've got loads of ducks and goats and all kinds of stuff like that. Horses, owls. So we're going to spend our final afternoon in the UK with the boys just having some really nice family time. So we'll try and film a few clips whilst we're there because they've never ever seen live animals like that before. So it's going to be interesting. Oh. It's a goat. <laughs> Hello, goat. Are you stroking the goat? <laughs> Say hello, horse. Do you want to see the donkey? Yeah. Oh, it's coming to see you. Pygmy goats. What is it? What is it, Noah? A sheep? It's a goat. <laughs> what do you think, Ari? Are you going to let him out? <laughs> Little bunnies. You can't, you can't get them out. <laughs> what, you want to get them out? Take them home? <laughs> Can you see them? Look, there's one there. Yes. Yeah, lots of goats. Hello. Oh, look, Noah, there's another one that's come to see you. <laughs> yeah. Look, there's one behind you, look. Can you give this goat some food? Yeah. It's the morning of our honeymoon. Nice hair. Just having some breakfast. Made the boys some um, scrambled egg and beans, which is a fave for them. Mm -hmm. Still learning to use their spoons, but now I'm going to go and get a haircut. Yeah. Can I have my pink bag in the car, please? Yeah. How are you also feeling? Excited. All this stuff. Like, this <laughs> yeah, like... I think we've got more stuff for us now than we did when we took the babies. Yeah, these are all our items. It wouldn't be. A tr like a fab and our trip if I didn't lose something before yeah. we were going so I lost the SD card for this camera which had footage on don't know what I did with it within the space of five minutes but it's all good we got another one and we're about to go now aren't we yeah we're leaving now I need to take my hair out or it's going to be absolutely wild excited go on first bite of a, a cheap meal <laughs> just stopped off for some food um, I didn't realise that you couldn't check in until three hours before your departure time so we've got four hours to kill <laughs> yeah. right car is parked up are you ready let's go to the airport
Alright, we are in Terminal 5, but we have got a few hours to kill, so only half an hour. Oh, sick. We're gonna grab a coffee. So we're currently just waiting to check our bags in, but this is really weird because my bestest friend in the whole entire world works for BA um, and she actually flies so from this airport but she's not on our flight because she's got short haul unfortunately all this week so that's unfortunate because like how amazing would it be if your bestest friend was on like your what's it called on your flight yeah like on your flight I'd lose my absolute mind that, that would be sick, wouldn't it? Would maybe be in so the future cool. it'll line up. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's just weird to see where she works because she flies from Heathrow and we live, we live ages away. So yeah, she has to do that drive every time she really? comes to work. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. How long we got now? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Full security. It's not actually as bad as we thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to wait like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> We're through security. That was actually the fastest. It was like 30 seconds. Yeah. Super quick. Yeah, no right. straighteners in the bag holding us up this time. Yeah. Now we're gonna go and have a look in duty free and maybe get some food or Yeah. 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 How long we got till our flight? 60. What 60? <laughs> oh god. to make it past those ones without her realising. No, I didn't. You did what? I noticed, we're coming back though. Very nice. Don't think they put the price on anything in here. not find it. Ellen's been looking for this. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It so good. I feel like I want to try to smell them all though. Not all of them, but you can't. <laughs> say your nose will be burning. <laughs> right, I need some sliders. Do you know what? They're Crocs, but they're actually quite cool. Would you dump me if I bought them? No, I've got a pair of Crocs, actually. Right, sliders secured. Ellen's got the perfume she wanted. Now we're gonna go and have a drink, aren't we? Yeah. First alcoholic drink in months. Good garlic bread. Cheers. Yeah. Hey. Oh. It's massive, isn't it? It's huge. It's like a bus. <laughs> what have you got in your little package? Headphones. A little packet. I think there's like a toothbrush and stuff in there. Have a look. We got screens paused at the moment oh you got one pen for my sedu oh there you go good enough to pay three quid for the unicorn pen these come up look so you can rest your feet on them if you want we've got a pillow too lovely pillow oh you could totally sleep on here this is premium economy by the way it's actually really comfy isn't it the plain food was actually decent and so was the entertainment. We had a bit of a rocky descent as you may be able to tell from Ellen's face. 
After about four hours of broken sleep and an attempt at watching a film, we were finally coming down to land. And then just before we landed, the staff brought over a lovely card and a bag full of goodies. Such a lovely gesture. Remember we said that Ellen's friend Taz worked in BA? Well, we have a feeling that she had something to do with this. Thank you very much. Thank you.